Hey there everyone and welcome to WordPress series. So, so far now we have understood a little bit about the WordPress installation of XAMPP on Windows and Mac. Now we are going to proceed and answer actually a couple of questions in this particular video. So we have a lot of questions. Uh, first of all, without any further ado, we are going to spend a couple of seconds onto the website of Matt. Uh, now Matthew has designed this amazing WordPress and I think it's worth spending a couple of minutes on his website and I highly recommend you to check out his website. He has done an amazing job by giving us the WordPress as an open source, uh, a great, great contribution in the community. So go ahead, uh, read about it, at least visit his website and that would be kind of a very little thing that we can do for him. Uh, amazing guy, you can find him in a lot of WordPress conferences, it's pretty common. You can follow him on uh, the social networks as well, he's quite common there. Uh, so go ahead, check him out there. Now let's go ahead and ask a couple of questions before we move on into WordPress. First of all, do we really need a WordPress? Second question is, uh, what is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? And the third question is what we can actually do with WordPress. So first question is, do we really need a WordPress? Now, I would say it depends. Now, for all the times you don't need a WordPress. Sometimes I have seen people overusing the WordPress. Now, just onto an example scenario, I do have my website. Now, my website is a very, very personal, basic website. It doesn't have much of the things to deal up with. Uh, it only changes once in a while, not much often, and it just fetches all the YouTube videos as soon as I upload them. Now, this is being designed onto just JavaScript, just onto a sidebar. I have already uh, recorded a video on how we can do these uh, fetching of the YouTube videos automatically from a channel using React.js. Go ahead, find that onto the YouTube archive my on my YouTube channel. Uh, but coming back onto the topic, for these kinds of websites where you just have a couple of pages uh, like home, about us, contact us pages, and that's it. For these kinds of websites, since they are not getting changed often, using a WordPress would be overkill. You could have done these kinds of jobs within a simple couple of KBs of uh, kind of a code and you're using a full-fledged WordPress for that. That is not an amazing job. So for small scale websites, I don't ever recommend WordPress because you are just overkilling the things. It may reduce the speed of the website and a lot of things like that. WordPress is now being made for the websites uh, which changes a lot of things quite often and or writing a blog or something like that. So if you're changing a website, let's just say once in a week or once in a month, then obviously WordPress could have been a good choice. Uh, but really, you should uh, really research a little bit whether you need a plain HTML CSS template uh, to go onto your website or you need a full-fledged WordPress. Don't overkill ever, ever. Just because a thing is there, you don't need to use that always, okay? So that answers our questions that always it depends for just a couple of websites, a couple of pages of websites. Don't use the WordPress, it's not a good thing. Now let's come back onto the topic what is the difference between wordpress.com and the wordpress.org? On to a very simple words, wordpress.com is paid and wordpress.org is totally free. Uh, let's get on to difference because it's a little bit more to explain uh, just with that. WordPress.com is being managed by company Automatic, uh, the company behind the WordPress, slightish like that. There is a lot of confusion with that. Uh, let's leave that, but it's being managed by the company Automatic. Now, WordPress.com is a controlled environment. That means you don't have to worry about the all the hacks that are going on or the vulnerabilities that come up. But again, it's a very, very controlled environment. You cannot install any theme. You cannot install any uh, third-party plugins just like that. There are limited set of plugins and themes being available to you. You can only use them only. And uh, only uh, there are certain plans that allows you to do so. For the basic plans, you don't get much to be there. And of course, you check on to the pricing of the WordPress. You can see there is a free version there, but it doesn't allow you to have your uh, kind of a customized domain. You're always going to get a domain like uh, hitesh.wordpress.com or .wordpress.com, something like that. Okay, so there is the basic things. If you want to add up your domain, you have to pay like uh, 199, it's in rupees, don't worry, it's not in dollars, uh, 199 uh, per month, which is a little bit. It gives you six GB of storage and you can read all the things in the plan. So this is paid. And uh, in case you are kind of a photographer or maybe a artist or you just play guitars and want to manage things onto your website on your own, WordPress.com could have been a really great thing, but but again, uh, it doesn't allow you to install n number of plugins or themes. It's very limited and controlled environment. So make sure you always keep an eye on that. Now WordPress.org on the other hand is the free version of the 
uh, WordPress that is running on there, but not onto a controlled environment. You are completely free to do whatever you want to do. You want to customize the theme, you want to add or install a theme that you have purchased or a plugin that you have purchased or you have designed on your own, completely free uh, on your own, how you want to customize it. Uh, it's completely a GPL license, uh, general public use license, totally free what you really want to do. And it's amazing, it's great. And uh, we will be working on this. We will be downloading our own uh, files of WordPress and then we'll be looking onto it. I highly recommend to check out all the links and tabs on these websites like uh, what are the themes available. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. And I'll talk a lot more into detail about what are the null themes and should you be using that or not. Okay, so now that you understand the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, let's move further what you can really do with the WordPress. Now at the initial days, the WordPress was being designed to just write the blogs, the article writers and people who want to convey some information just like this. We also do write blog at LCO there. And there is a nice article why not to choose the pirated and null theme. Uh, it's bad. First of all, it's illegal as well as there are a lot of lot of consequences that comes up with these pirated themes. Uh, you may end up in a lot of trouble. So just onto a sidebar. So initially it was designed to write uh, blogs like this, uh, but WordPress has evolved quite a lot and it can be a full-fledged website, can do pretty much anything. And if you customize it a little bit, here are a couple of examples that I would like to post in front of you. Uh, girlwiththecamera.co.uk is an amazing website to follow up. Uh, she always posts up the photos, uh, what she has taken up, his recent projects are, and all these things. Uh, it's by Ashley. Amazing. But you can see it's a simple WordPress theme. Anybody can tell that, yes, it's a theme. Customized, of course, a lot of customization. Uh, but again, it's a very basic WordPress theme, I would say. Again, it can be modified into an amazing thing like this, but it requires a lot of knowledge. Uh, you cannot just do without with a click, click, click things. No, it requires a lot of customization to move and mold a WordPress in just things like that. And of course, uh, the very famous uh, tattoo studio, the theink.com uh, also uses the WordPress. And if I just hit a reload, you can see the customization that they have done. Amazing, amazing job there. So there we go. So there we go. And it's a side scroll. You can see uh, the tattoos. You can see the scroll is here onto a side and you can see how the tattoos work. Big fan of tattoos, you know. Uh, so you can see all, check out all the tattoos that they are doing and all this. This is an amazing job that they have done uh, with the customization of WordPress. Definitely, definitely. And check out all of that. So pretty good. Amazing artist as well. Uh, just leave that. You also can see that how the WordPress can be modified into a full-fledged personal website. Uh, you know Katy Perry, I hope so. And all the details, merchandise, uh, all the things things are being here. So it's, it's an amazing way. Uh, since the data is being updated quite a lot about the tickets and everything, I think WordPress for such kind of a website is a good choice because things are getting updated quite a lot. Also, it can be treated as a full-fledged uh, news website. A website like Chicago Sun Times is totally designed in WordPress. Of course, tons of customization, but for a news website, it's a lifesaver. It's an easy way to go. And of course, finally, uh, last but not the least, the Walt Disney website is also totally on the WordPress. Uh, amazing, amazing customization. But again, these kinds of customization are not just with a click-click. Of course, there are themes, but still, you need a customization for that. A little bit knowledge of PHP and stuff is there. Uh, not I'm saying it's compulsory, you can do pretty much a great job without any knowledge as well, but you know, uh, the more knowledge you have, it's more easy. So that's all for this video. Now you do have an understanding a lot of about the WordPress. In the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to download uh, this WordPress.org uh, thing where that went up. Did I close that? Nope. So there we go. Make sure before uh, starting the next video, go ahead and download this WordPress. Uh, it's going to be a zip file. In the next video, we'll be exploring the zip file, how it works, how we can install that and all such stuff. And this is what we're going to do. So go ahead, download this and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.